Today I'm going to be reviewing a book called The Forest of Hands and Teeth. It's by Carrie Ryan. It was written in 2009 um, and it's part of a trilogy. Uh, the other two books in the series are called The Dead Tossed Waves and The Dark and Hollow Places. Um, the genre is it's a young adult post-apocalyptic zombie love story. So there are a lot of things going on there. But the novel centers on a young woman named Mary who lives in this isolated village in the middle of the forest. It's surrounded by fences. Nobody's allowed out and nobody's allowed in. This village is ruled by the Sisterhood and the Guardians. So the Sisterhood is this religious sect that claims that their town is the only left in existence. And then the Guardians protect the town. So what the Guardians are protecting the town from are these creatures beyond the fence called the uncon Unconsecrated. They are essentially zombies. The living dead. So... Mary grew up with a mother who loved telling her stories. She told her about the ocean and how living by the seaside would be. And Mary is obsessed with the ocean. It's like all she wants is to see the ocean. So it's just something that she that she hangs on to throughout the story. Um, in Mary's world, uh, young girls are required to marry by 16, I believe, or join the sisterhood. This is to ensure that the town is continuously growing and that the world can start repopulating itself. So, unfortunately, Mary's mother is eventually bitten by a zombie and she chooses to be banished to the forest of hands and teeth to find her husband who disappeared years ago and was bitten by a zombie. So Mary is taken in by the sisterhood and she's expected to join up or be banished like her mother. The problem is Mary's in love with this boy named Travis who's actually involved with her best friend Cass. So um, instead of Travis, Mary's asked for that brother, Harry. Um, so while Mary has this brief stint in the sisterhood, she decides, okay, I would much rather marry someone that I don't love then be stuck here. So she decides that, okay, I'll marry Harry. So b before the wedding is able to happen, the sirens in the village go off and the zombies flood into the town. When this happens, townspeople are supposed to climb up onto tall platforms to avoid death, but uh, Mary's unable to climb to safety, so she's forced to run away, which is really dangerous and reckless, but she does it anyway. The rest of the novel follows Mary in her journey to her new life, and it's filled with uncertainty and heartbreak, but also hope and love. Themes in this novel are things like unbalanced power, religion, relationships, secrecy, sacrifice, fear, loyalty, and choice. This isn't a book that I would teach in my classroom, but I would definitely have it as part of my classroom library. I wouldn't teach it just because I can't think of a particular text at the moment, at least, that I would pair it up with, and so I would rather just have it as something that I would recommend. Um, for age level, I would say probably 8th grade and up. Probably there are a few 7th graders who could handle it, but just to be safe, 8th grade and up. And my reading is another 5 out of 5 stars. Um, when I read this, I was in high school and I fell in love with it. I ate it right up and it was awesome. And for anybody who who really likes the the first book, I would definitely suggest reading the other two. And then I also believe she has a book of short stories about the same universe. Um, so I would definitely check that out if you're looking for something to read. Um, until next time. Created using Powtoon.